I see P algebra one. These are the answers for SLE number two, worksheet number two. Uh, so order of operations. So order of operations, you would have to multiply before you would add. So this is going to be eight plus seven times nine, which is sixty-three. Eight plus sixty-three then comes out to be seventy-one. Number three, we have these parentheses all in a row. So let's take care of this first. That's going to give me nine, and then I have four plus nine in parentheses. So that's going to give me thirteen. And then this 3 is going to come down here. 3 times 13 is going to give me 39. Number 5, order of operations. Well, let's take care of this first. So it's going to be 24 minus 18 plus, and then 6 divided by negative 3. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. Now we can go ahead and add things up. 24 subtract 18, that gives me 6. And 6 added to negative 2 is going to give me 4. Number seven, that's gonna, I'm gonna take care of it on top first. So I get 90 minus 22 is 68. And 28 minus 11 is, what is that, uh, 17? And I don't think that's gonna reduce because 17 is a prime number, so nothing goes into 17 other than 17 in itself. Actually, 17 goes right into 68. 17 goes into 68 four times. So the answer is 4 over 1, which is just 4. Now number 9. Let's take care of this first. So it's going to give me 4. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. Divided by, and let's take care of this as well, 8 minus 2 is 6. And then I'm going to get uh, 24 divided by 6, because when it's multiplication and division, same line, just go left to right. And then 24 divided by 6 comes out to 4. Number 11, this is kind of a whopper. We'll have to go through this slowly. So I'm going to take care of this part first. So that's going to give me a 4. And then 1 to the 5th is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is just going to give me 1. And then plus 9. And this is all still in parentheses. And then let's see, I'm still working on this, just this portion right here. So 4 plus, or 4 minus 1 is 3, plus 9 is 12. Okay, so that 12 will be divided by something. Now let's take care of this. 24 divided by 6 is 4, plus 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. So I'm going to go 4 there, and then the plus 25. The reason I didn't add the 25 and the 4 together right away is because order of operations had that division sign that was right here first. So that's going to give me 3 plus 25, which is going to give me 28. Now let's see, I'm going to go 6 minus 15 first, that's going to give me 11. And then 4 squared is 16, and that's minus 7. So 5 times um, 11 is 55, 55 minus 1 is 54. And then 16 minus 7 is going to give me 9, 54 over 9 becomes 6, it reduces to 6. Uh, notice I've been writing kind of a lot down because I don't try and carry it in my head. And I'm going to go ahead and divide first. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, and then I have times 13. Now I have to multiply the 3 and the 13 together, so that's going to give me 39. I'll go ahead and add those together now, and that's going to give me 48. Number 17, so I'm going to add the 8s together because they're in parentheses, and I'm going to write. So 54 divided by 6 is 9. And then I'm going to add those together. That's going to give me 27 plus 7. That's going to give me an answer of 34. That's it. That's it.